guys, so today we're going to be creating Rosalie the Easter Bunny. She is adorable. And it's cool that that was something I created on Photoshop and now it's a cake. I loved creating Rosalie, so let's get started. I never like my hair. What is this? What is this like curl right here? Why, why are you doing this to me head? Let's create this cake. I'm using a cake frame that I bought from Germany. I really like it because I don't have to use dowels to create the structure. The only problem I have with it is that I can't really give my cakes away because I have to get this back and I don't really trust people to return it. You know, some people are really sketchy. I trust you guys, but your friends, never again. I'm using vanilla cakes that I dyed different colors. So first we got like a romantic moment. And then we got like a high dive. We got some of that, it's a girl. Yo, and last but not least, we got like a squash blossom. And I'm stacking my cakes and building my frame at the same time. And I'm just adding buttercream in between each of my layers. Um, and I'm adding some support with two pieces of cardboard because our bunny got a big old head. I'm using two dome cakes to create her head. Just added some buttercream in the middle and then placed my last cake on top. And I'm gonna place this into the fridge to chill for a little bit and we're gonna start to create Rosalie's story. Rosalie was just a regular gray babbit. Bunny rabbit, babbit. Every year, her and her siblings would color and dye hundreds of Easter eggs. Her parents would hide them around the farm in the woods for her and her 12 siblings to find. 13 of them, you guys. They're rabbits, they're babbits. They're making babies like crazy. Now, once my cake was set up, I started to carve Rosalie's shape. And I'm just gonna round out the bottom. And I just started to create some separation so I knew where her legs were. And this took a very long time because I wanted to make sure that I wasn't carving away too much cake. So I was just shaving down a little bit at a time. Her head is like too big. Her head's bigger than your mama's head. And I know your mama, we go way back. <laughs> I just kept referring back to my Rosalie picture and there was a lot of carving. And I carved a little bit of her head away just because I wanted to flatten out the front of her face. I also made sure that the top of the head wasn't as rounded as the bottom so that it wasn't a perfect circle. After I finished carving my beautiful Rosalie, I gave her a crumb coat. One year, Rosalie noticed a large golden egg in her father's basket right before he was going to go outside to hide the eggs. She had never seen that egg before and she didn't remember any of her siblings dying or coloring that egg. After seeing it, she decided that that was the only egg worth finding. Now I place my cake back into the fridge to chill and while it's chilling, we're going to have another talk about Mother Wing. Now if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that in our stories, me and Mother Wink were beefing. We were premium beefing, like Kobe beefing. The mouth on her, mm, she got some fine words. Now about two months ago, the Bake King created this Pumba cake. If you haven't subscribed to him already, do it now. I'll wait. Don't take too long though, because I don't want this to be a long video, but I'll wait for you. You're always making me wait. I told you to do this already. <laughs> and I challenged Butterwink to recreate this Pumba cake. She challenged me right back. So now we're like going up against each other. She's creating a Pumba cake. I'm creating a better Pumba cake. It's like a boxing match, you know? But it's kind of weird because I like Mighty Wink, but I'm gonna try to knock her out the ring. <laughs> we are both posting our videos next Tuesday. So in the comments, I would like to know what team you're on. Team Nino Prodi. Pro. I, I don't know how to roll. Or Team Barrywink. I gave Rosalie a fix-it coat of buttercream. It's not a complete coat, but it's just a coat to fix all of the mistakes I made when I was covering it. And I placed this back into the fridge for about 15 minutes. 
and I just put on some gloves and using a little bit of water I moved my hands around the buttercream so that the surface was even more smooth. Now I covered Rosalie's head with some grey fondant and I knew that I was gonna mess up on this because this is like a dome cake and we already know I don't like dome cakes. I just made sure that all of my imperfections would be hidden behind her bunny ears. That way I could hide all of her seams and nobody would ever know that I made a mistake. Now I pushed the fondant into her neck then just cut away the excess with my sidekick. Now when her parents got back, the Easter festivities began and they started to turn up the music. Growing up with 12 other siblings, the playlist for Easter was very eclectic. And Rosalie learned to love all different types of music. She loved 80s music, she liked Michael Jackson, some hip hop over here, a little bit of Hanson, mm bop, mm bop, bop. She liked punk rock and her favorite at the moment was heavy metal. Oh, wait, is it? No, that's surfing. It's, is that it? Please don't screenshot that. And while the music was playing, Rosalie and her siblings began searching for all the eggs. Rosalie was a master egg finder. And when they finished looking for all the eggs, she found more eggs than all of her siblings combined. There was only one problem. She didn't find the golden egg. So sad you guys, it was so sad. Now I covered her body and I did the exact same thing. I just made sure that the one seam that I was going to have was underneath one of her ears. That way this would look like so professional you guys. Now to create Rosalie's feet, I just rolled out some grey fondant and then added CMC to make it harder. Now I rolled it out really thick and I'm just using a foot template on the top to cut out the rough shape. I'm going to flip the template over and cut out the other foot. And using my hands, I'm just going to soften and mold down the edges and then just enhance the toes using my fondant tools. And I brushed a little bit of magic sauce. Ooh, and I'm wearing my magic sauce shirt. Can I see this? I just covered the top of the foot with a very thin piece of yellow fondant. Now on the other foot, I'm gonna do the exact same thing with a very thin piece of pink fondant. Now I created two strips of blue fondant to add some detail. And then I gave her some paw pads with a little bit of thin white fondant. Still, Rosalie had not been able to find the egg. And after searching every inch of the 24 acres of forest and farmland that her family owned, she just sat in the middle of the forest, just bewildered, lethargic, and depressed. She was sad and she was crying. Now her brothers and sisters heard her crying and so they came to her aid and they were like, what happened? What's going on? And she was like, what had happened was I found this egg. It was in the dad's basket and it was this big old thing where she explained what was going on. But y'all already know the story, so I don't gotta say it all over again. She told them that she'd searched the entire forest and farm grounds. And then someone suggested that maybe she should start looking up. Let's create her arms. I'm just rolling out a long log shape and just covering it with some blue fondant. Now this doesn't have as much detail as her foot, but I am going to cut out a zigzag pattern so that it sort of matches. Now with our other arm, I'm going to do the exact same thing but with yellow fondant. I wanted Rosalie to be holding a carrot. So to start, I rolled out some green fondant to create the carrot leaves. And I'm just using some flower fondant cutters and then placing them into an impression mold. Now I didn't want these to be just like sitting flat on a sheet of parchment papers. So I scrunched it up so that they would lay and fall in between all of the different folds. Let's create the carrot. I rolled out a very large piece of orange fondant and rolled it into a cone shape. I'm just gonna use my sidekick to create some marks. <laughs> now, Rosalie's ears were probably the hardest thing to create. Uh, they're two-toned and I didn't know how to go about this, so the way that I did it was I just rolled two different colors of fondant together. So that the bottom of the ear was one color and the top of the ear was purple. I took my ear template, placed it on top, and just cut out the shape with my sidekick. Now I'm just going to smoothen out the edges with my fingers and repeat that process with the other ear. Now 
Now in between the two pieces of fondant, I did add a zigzag stripe, because that's how I designed her. And I just applied that with a little bit of magic sauce. Just placed it on and then turned it over and applied it to the other side. Then I did the exact same thing to the other ear. Now the last thing I have to create is my bunny tail. And to do this, I'm using this ugly colored fondant. <laughs> I use this to create monsters, but it's not good for anything else but monsters. I just rolled it into a ball and gave it some texture with my fingers. And then I wrapped it in a very thin piece of white fondant to get that fluffy bunny tail look. After that, I started to apply all of Rosalie's features with some magic sauce. Now this is the first time that they'd ever done this, and so while they were searching, they ended up finding a whole bunch of other easter eggs. Now they still weren't able to find the golden egg, and it came down to the tallest tree in all of the 24 acres of land. Rosalie's siblings told her to climb the tree herself because they were sure it was up there. But Rosalie knew that without them, she would have never even thought to search the trees. So they climbed the tree together, and at the top, the tippet 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 top of the tippet 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 top cat i'm shooting a video right now stop interrupting was the golden egg shining as bright as the sun carrot check feet check arms check tail check ears check Ooh. Let's finish her face. I love it when animals have spots over one eye, so I wanted to give her one as well. I created an egg-shaped spot out of white fondant because she's Easter Bunny. And I added two circles of black fondant to create her eyes. Now the one thing I didn't like about this cake was I couldn't get the perfect size eye. All of my circular sort of shapes were either a little too big or a little too small, but it's okay. She still looks really cute. After that, I added her chubby cheeks. Oh, what is this? Like this bunny upper lip thing? Then her nose, and I gave her two catch lights for her eyes. Rosalie touched the egg, and as soon as she did, she was surrounded by Easter magic. Swirls of color of blue and pink and purple and yellow attached to her fur and gave her a totally different color. This transformed the plain gray babbit into the beloved Easter bunny that we all come to love. And that is how Rosalie became the Easter Bunny. Yeah, I think she looks so cool. I have to give a shout out to Zoe's Fancy Cakes. I love her, you guys. Last year, she created these Easter Bunnies that had floppy ears, and I loved that idea, which is why Rosalie has floppy ears as well. I love this color scheme, and I tried to incorporate all of the colors that you guys suggested in the community tab. Now, if your comments made it into the video, thank you for helping me create this story. And if it didn't, don't worry, there are a ton of character videos you can be a part of in the future. Just make sure you hit that notification button so that you can see the pictures as they go up in the community tab and you can be a part of the video later on. If you want to see more Easter cakes, I've got a ton of videos up on this channel as well as a unicorn egg cake and a dragon egg. So many comments in the unicorn egg were like, unicorns don't come from eggs. I say they do. And what I say goes on this channel. You can purchase this shirt as well as a whole bunch of other designs in the Quali Pop store. All the money helps me fund and create more videos. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace!